Hey guys, it's Chetik, and in today's video, we will be talking about Beach South. Now, this isn't my Beach South build. This is a Kirby Neon's Beach South build. Kirby, say hello. Good evening, everybody. Like I said before, this is just unfair how he's like, he's so much more masculine than me, and I hate mm -hmm. it. And I, look at his mmms, this is not fair. Anyway, the ladies could be into your voice though more in certain situations. But, uh... I need help. I need a doctor. I need a doctor. Um, so, uh, I know you guys have been asking for Lava Pit, and um, I know that's important. However, this Beach South rework costs a lot less tiles to make, so I feel like this is more important because we all have a new amplifier to build. Wamp Amp and, um... Kirby's actually the author of that build, along with help from, like, I remember Leaf, right? And, mm -hmm. um, that video is still up on his channel and my channel, so do be sure to check that out. And be sure to check out Kirby's channel in this description. And now, let's jump into the video. Now, this is Wave 24 footage in action, and this is not my footage, by the way. This is Kirby's build in, um, in action. This is all of every single iteration of Kirby's build in action and I had to censor it. Thank you very much Kirby, I appreciate that. And also, why is your taskbar on the top of the screen? You freaking weirdo. <laughs> Anyways, basically Wave 24, he did nothing but shoot occasionally because he was bored for something. So for a quick overview, his Kirby's Beach South is basically the same pathing as my Beach South, but Kirby was brilliant enough to, the, to you know, make a tunnel that basically incorporates just well no traps in the beginning because they're super useless and recycles everything into the pit so we're going to be taking a look at it we're not going to be taking a look at most of his block off because it is a little excessive it's like putting too much ketchup on fries you know you only dip it once you don't triple or soak your your fries in ketchup you don't you don't you don't need to do that much unless unless you're into that and kirby seems to be into that but i'm not into that so, <laughs> so while I'm bashing on Kirby, let's just let Kirby explain his tongue a little bit before we move on. Essentially, the best way to save structures on your beach south, if you're going to be passing them towards the pit area, is to remove as many traps as you can that you don't need. And just make sure that you're killing off the little midgets uh, and the little husks, right? As long as you achieve that, then you can just go ahead and let them recycle into the pit. Right? And that's pretty much the concept of this build. And Chetik, you want to take a look? Off the top? Oh, okay, let's get started. <laughs> you're, you're the one recording, you know. Okay, so basically, let's just explain all of the basic functions of the tunnel, the lay main layout, and then we'll talk about the block off afterwards, the core essential block offs that you will need in this tunnel. And when, after we're done looking at Kirby's variation of this tunnel, we'll come look at my variation. However, my variation remains untested because of, you know, we just got Fortnite back. Um, Kirby's variation is tested and is done, so take my variation with a grain of salt, um, take Kirby's variation, which is done and also on his YouTube channel, link in the description, to be done, and Kirby, how many, um, times have you had, had this amplifier on high waves, like, post Ooh, at 11? Several, several times. This and has it ever, morning. has it ever held up all fantastically, like you could say it was? It's yeah, best it never exploded, because I guess there's nothing to really explode on. Exactly. All right. So now let's talk about the tunnel. Uh, so to start off with, you're going to be moving up this ramp because all the husks will be spawning in this major area down there and stuff. And they'll all be pathing over here because of the block off on the left side. That just that is a monstrosity to look at. Um, <laughs> so what they're all going to do is they're going to walk up from here and the occasional husk will walk around and onto target. We'll talk about um, what target is and how to stop them from walking to target. But basically, to get them all to path up here, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. They will most be pathing up here, so we'll have a sound wall right here, just in case hits happen here. But they shouldn't, right, Kirby? Oh, okay. Just and in, just emergency, yeah. and then another sound wall right here for emergency purposes. Uh, basically, at the start of the ramp, it's just right here. These two tiles. On the third tile, it's going to be two walls surrounded with sound walls. And then an empty wall with no wall launcher on it. If you really want to put a wall launcher there, I'd recommend it because it would just recycle them down there and then they'd have to go through the gases again. I'd recommend a 4x on it, but it's entirely unnecessary. And then ceiling gases all along from here. You look up and there's a ceiling gas right there. To the south, put another ceiling gas. To the east, put another ceiling gas. And then fill in the rest. 
Now, um, after this, after this ceiling gas, there is a wall launcher on the right. Kirby, please explain why this wall launcher is there. The wall launcher is here because occasionally I see sometimes assassin type pus will bash on this, right? Assassin type pus includes the gunslingers, which shoot those little, little gun at you. A, the little midgets and, and the laser boys as well and possibly the bone throwers you mean flingers not flingers um no. pitchers pitchers yeah there are uh, uh by the way the names of all the, the hus uh the nicknames because no one seems to remember them are lobbers are the ones in the dresses uh flingers are the the miss monster not flingers everyone knows those names uh pitchers are the baseball ones and husklings are the ones that allura calls Finish the sentence for me, Kirby. Oh, the little midgets. <laughs> the little midgets. And uh, yeah, now let's talk about this. Blo the block off is a floor and a pyramid on top, surrounded by walls. And that will stop the husk from tapping up here. And then we walk into the rest of the tunnel. It is two wooden floor spikes, two seating gases, two sound walls. There used to be broadsides here, but broadsides were causing um, impact issues where the knockback animation would send them into here. And then Kirby was stating that he was having issues there. And that's why he, he used to have ceiling gases there. But this is take two, by the way, because Chetek is a beggar who doesn't click his recording button. <sighs> Anyways, and uh, so there's no longer broadsides here. Feel free to put wall doors or wall dynamos. I don't recommend wall dynamos, but if you do put broadsides down, place them on these walls, not on these walls. If, and actually, if they land over here, you would have a mo Don't put broadsides in this tunnel. I, as much as you broadsides enthusiasts think it's a really good idea, it's not. It's very and, much not. And I should probably emphasize too, don't put floors over here. Don't put floors over here or walls over here. Because for some reason, the husk can have, they seem to want to break it from over here where I am. And it doesn't make sense. They want to break them from here. So That's I just don't put any floors or walls there. All right, now for the recycling portion of the tunnel. So let's talk about these floor launchers. Kirby, tell me about your floor launchers. The first floor launcher you'll be meeting will be a four times impact one reload, right? And then just launch them straight into the pit. The second floor launcher that you'll be meeting over here will be three times impact two reload, which will launch them all in the pit. The wall launcher right next to the first floor launcher over here will be four times impact one reload, which will launch them all the way back. Right. And the next the next two wall launchers and floor launchers next uh, connected to each other will be a combination of three and four times impact. Oh, so you can have uh, different reload times. Yep, you can have different reload times. Like, personally, I would just run tar. Oh, actually, no. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd run both personally, just 3Xs, but that sounds way smarter than what I'm doing. So, yeah, I'd have either 3X wall launchers and then 4X wall launchers. That's just... It just sounds so much smarter. I don't know. That's smarter. <laughs> smarter. <laughs> and then they're accompanied by, on these two, are accompanied by two ramps. And then ramps facing downwards. And this one right here, starting from this floor launcher, you're going to be putting a wall up. And then you're going to be putting a two ramps and then two ramps going down. And then you're going to surround the first two vertical layers with walls. If you don't do that, you'll probably have husks flying onto here and then just walking into your amplifiers. I've done vertical builds like that a few times and I've had Huss walk into my amplifier. Now let's talk about the basic block off. Kirby, I'm going to be knocking out these floors now because they are no longer necessary. We can uh, we could, we could walk away our shame. Still, I need, I still need the floors though. But, uh, why? Well, there's occasion where a, if, it, if there's a flobber on the other side, they would want to break it and then they want to think that they can flink after they break the wall and then i just put a roof on it but you know we can just remove it for now and then you can see the inside that does make sense that does make sense so basically what happens is kirby has four full sandwiches basically like my build i have four full sandwiches at this point and um the full sandwiches are not like usual like the um like the two pieces we have we instead have diagonal pieces for uh, the northwest and the southeast removed and that goes all the way down so this is the second sandwich same layout third sandwich same layout and then the fourth sandwich same layout and then from here on we have a block off on the right side here so we can make sure that nothing comes through here um i have this built a little bit differently uh more uh but the kirby's is basically just on these two floors we have floors edited from the east to block out the um let's just block off well there's nothing to block out 
and then walls on the ceilings on top so flingers if they make through can't flank and then his insane block off over here which i will just give you a bird's eye view because i will be showing you my block off because this is atrocity in my opinion and mm -hmm. um but you know you, you could dip, you could triple dip your fries kirby uh and uh, i think that's about it for the build right have we missed anything uh... <clears throat> At least for this uh, south side, uh, no, I think that should be everything. Yeah, and then this is it's part up of to you of what, how you want it to your block up, right? As long as it works, then it's fine. Exactly, yeah. As long as, yeah. Hopefully you guys can, um, if you're having block off troubles, you can just figure it out. Um, I don't want to say it yourselves, but basically if you're having block off trouble, the best way to fix block off trouble is to add more block off or change the direction of the block off sometimes block offs like two ramps like this don't work compared to sandwiches as shown on pit because i did a pit run and it ended up scuffing it um now let's just um let's go over to my base oh yeah this part so in my base you'll see a variation i don't have these um four pieces these these ramp pieces like this i'll show you mine kirby has this like this because well uh, I, I do not massive know lava shield. massive lava shield mike massive lava shield they and, can um, fling. They can fling from here. That's why. Let me. Oh yeah, they can. They're really? Yeah, it's pretty far. I've never had that issue. All right. It's well, pretty rare though. Let's go. It's one of those flingers that just like throws once and then they leave. It's like, you know. Oh, those kinds of flingers. You know, I've had flinger issues from down here. We're starting to have a natural conversation. Ooh. All right, off to my base. Actually, Actually, there's one more thing I should mention too. Now you mentioned it. You need to have this wall over here uh, to prevent the flinger from flinging from up below. Right over here, where I am. Where are you? So that's oh, basically yeah. from the wall launcher right here. There needs to be a wall right here to stop flingers yeah. from flinging from below. It's really weird. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go off to my base and show them the variations. And we're back in my base. So the difference between my block off and Kirby's block off is night and freaking day. So for example, what I've done is I started off with a a half sandwich in the beginning with sandwiches facing the southwest for once on the left side of the ramp. And then I had another half sandwich with a sandwich facing the southeast and another half sandwich with a sandwich facing the southwest. No wall right there because there's no reason to. And then 4x wall launchers all along them. These are to get anything that do aggro if the rare occasion does occur because like maybe you're all the way down there and you're running to the amplifier and that house want to aggro on you from here then they'll do that and then it'll just launch them back down here and then this is originally just like my um old beach self video and um basically two four pieces here two pyramids on top of those surround those pyramids with walls jump over from the right side you have a pyramid facing the southwest and then a wall and then you jump over that wall and there's a pyramid facing the southeast look to your west and jump over that wall there is a pyramid facing the southeast and then place a wall to yourself and you're good to go then we go into the tunnel and the tunnel is filled to the brim except there are no floor pieces in the tunnel basically it's just wall pyramid wall pyramid wall pyramid wall pyramid wall pyramid all the way down to the amplifier and then it blocks off the east side as well with wall pyramid wall pyramid wall pyramid and you should be good to go that's what i've been using for my old beach south build basically i just removed tiles here i didn't touch any of the block off and this block off has been working for me like candy for the longest now and then this is my variation of it i have a wall launcher here and a wall launcher here for additional recycling and recycling here to recycle them down there but then I also have the pyramids over here to stop them from doing the nasty. And then the rest of the tunnel is basically the same. And uh, yeah, oh wait, except for the last part. Um, we also have the same 4X, uh, <gasps> I have, wow, I have three sandwiches, which look at that. And then I have an empty tile. Oh. Yoink. Okay. And then it's just for me saying here, uh, let's go from to the last sandwich go one tile to the south and then go four tiles down and then go all the way down until you reach your lava bomb which should be in this two by two right here and then once you're at this two by two from the lava bomb you go one tile to the east here and then because of the lava bomb hitting here you just walk down four tiles and place four walls that is my lava shield for 
uh, Veach and I personally had no problems with it. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's really about it. Kirby, do you have any words? Hmm. Chetik's being really sexy today. We combine both our efforts together, making a sexy beach so. Ooh. I, I should really try your uh, block off though. Hmm? You're gonna try it out? <laughs> hey, I hope you do. I mm. really do. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, um, well, from me and Kirby both, thank you guys for watching, and, um, we'll catch you in the next one. Anything else you gotta say, Kirby? Hugs and kisses to everybody. Enjoy. Hugs and kisses to everybody. Toodles!